Hi, in this tutorial we will solve uh, some relational algebra exercises. For this exercise we will use this database that uh, has the relations to students, departments, faculty, takes and courses. And these are uh, some instances of the, the, the database. Now I have here a text box that will help me just to copy and paste some of the symbols for the operators that I'm going to use in relational algebra. Let's go on question number one. Okay, so for question number one, it says show the schema of the database. This is just to illustrate what is it the schema because usually we don't have the instance of the database like in here and we don't need to see the actual data in the database. We just need the schema. So for that, what we are usually provided is like the table headers, like students, parentheses, SID, which is the identification, comma, name, comma, GPA, comma, major, comma, H. So that will be the schema for table students. So now I want the schema for the whole database. So what I will do is do the same for the other table that takes, and then SID, comma, CID, and these are the keys, so I will underline this, which is the primary key, and I will pause here to continue copying the other four tables, and then I will resume once I'm done copying those. Okay, um, I'm done copying the schema for the database, and then something else that I will do is call this schema university database equals and then I use these brackets and close that as a set and that will be the answer for question number one so I just will just change this so I think that looks better now it says represent for question number two represent students as a set of tuples okay so in the relational model we say that we got relations and the relation is a set of tuples. So we see that visually like a table. So for the students actually it's the set of students and that's the relation with set of students equals. And this is the set that contains three elements which are three rows or three objects. And the first one is one, two, three, comma, John, comma, two point three, comma, math comma 21. So this is what we call uh, tuple, T-U-P-L-E, and uh, this is the first element. Now uh, tuple is a sequence of uh, the elements of data here, so that means I cannot change the order, like 1, 2, 3 has to be the first element, and then John is the second, which represents the name. If I change though is not the same tuple so the sequence there is important the order okay the next element will be 999 comma peter comma 3.1 and i'm uh, sorry 3.1 the music the music department then 25 okay and then the last element will be 246 comma john comma 3.1 comma CSEI, comma 41. This will be our answer for number two. So yes, just will highlight this. I think I'm gonna take the space away from that tool. Okay, so now question three is yes, very, it's very similar to question number two. And in this case, we will do the same now for the table takes. So takes is a set. And this set contains two tuples, one, two, three, comma, nine, nine, and two, four, six, comma, fifty-five. And this is the answer. So we're going with the first three questions. Okay, so let's see now question number four. Question number four, what actually we'll implement now for the first time in relational algebra. 
taking the examples. So we need to see which operators are the one that will be most appropriate to solve the query, the request. So we want to see the age of all the students. So then um, what we need is to project on that table. So I will need the projection operator. So I will copy that from here. There. So on table students, which is the relation, I need which attributes? I just need age. And that's the answer. Now let's see how that looks on the table. So we see we can do this. So let's copy the table. Okay, so let's see, we can move this table over here and then show what is happening with the projection. So the projection it says we only need table, I mean column H. So then we don't need these columns. And, and, and this is what we're doing. We're, we're retrieving that data in memory. We're not actually changing the data that is in the hard drive. So we delete those columns and that's what we're displaying now. The name of the table that we're displaying is the, this table, which is the result of this. This is a new relation, it's actually a new. Then here is no longer table students. So that's the new relation. And this is the answer. So the, the actual expression in relational algebra is this, which represents that. Okay, so let's see question number two. Question number five is similar to question four, because in question four we were just looking for the age. Now uh, here we want the let's copy that expression from here. So the answer is on the students. Now we want to project on name. Let's see what's the difference. We copy the table from C. Again, doing that over here. Now we're projecting over name, so we don't need these columns. So we're eliminating that. We don't need this ID because it's not in the list of attributes in my pi operator, which is projection. So we're deleting that. This is what we have. Now, remember that what it gets as an answer is also a relation. So in the relation is a set. So in this case, will be a set with three tuples. Now in sets, we cannot have elements, a duplicate, so we don't repeat. So for example, John and John is actually what we have but we need to delete one in the relational algebra. Now, this doesn't happen when we will see in SQL because in SQL they implement just getting the, the, the data, they eliminate the columns, and they don't eliminate duplicates unless we specify that. But in the true relational algebra, this is wrong. So we need to take away one John because we cannot have duplicates. So we actually get rid of that. That will be the answer, and again, the resulting relation is no longer a students. The resulting relation that we have that we display in is this. So that will be my answer for number five. Now let's do number six. And after number six, I think we will pause to do seven and to twelve in another tutorial because it's been too long so here. See question number six. So number six will is the name and age of the students older than 30. Okay, so let's copy table the students again. That's what we need. And yes, we're gonna need that table over here. Let's see what we're gonna do with this table. So we need only the uh, students that age are older than 30, so that means this needs to be eliminated. So when we're eliminating these rows, because age is 21 and 25, then we use sigma. Sigma 
eliminate some of the rows. So that means I need this symbol now, this operator, control C, the sigma, which is a selection. And then here we implement the name of the relation. And these are, remember, like we said previously, these are unary relations. So this is a student. And then for a student, the condition is that h greater than 30. That will give me the answer that I have here. But I, I just want to see the name and the age. Then, for that, I need to get rid of GPA, major, and SID. To do that, we need to do a pi. So I will copy the pi. And implement that here. So then, I need another parenthesis over here. And then the attributes that I want to see, the list of attributes in this case, will be name, comma, H, which will eliminate these columns. So we delete columns in this one. So there, and the resulting relation. So this is the expression, this is the answer, and we're just doing a little extra. So here we're changing this is this. So that's the name of the expression and this is the result of executing that expression. Okay, so in this tutorial we solved the first six exercises. So I will go and solve the other exercises on the next tutorial because this is now too long. Thank you.